Do you need a keyboard on a budget? Or maybe you just want to test the mechanical keyboard waters. Well, this might be the keyboard for you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm your host, MD. Today we're looking at the 89 key 80% mechanical keyboard, the Z13 by EUSU. EUSU was generous enough to send this keyboard out to me for unboxing and review. This video is to showcase the unboxing experience for the consumer and my initial thoughts on the product. I've added chapters in the description, so please feel free to skip around to find what you need. With that being said, let's get into it. The packaging is minimal, but it seems sufficient. Hopefully there's a keyboard in here. Yep, it's there. Then you're met with a welcome card, instructions, keycap puller, switch puller, alternate keycaps, a USB-C to a USB-A cable, and spare switches. This model came with the red linear switches, but they also offer brown switches. These are hot swappable and are covered with PBT keycaps. This keyboard also has foldable feet on the bottom if you prefer the angled typing experience. It comes with 19 lighting modes, 17 preset, and two custom. Now the first thing that is appealing to me is the inclusion of the number pad. My current setup, while I enjoy the form factor of the 60% keyboard, I have a number pad set up separately because in this day and age we're constantly filling out CAPTCHA challenges or having to do two-factor authentication. And it's just a lot easier having a dedicated number pad. And it's another device on my desk that looks, looks pretty cool. Otherwise, your alternative is, you know, hunting and pecking across the top row of your 60% keyboard. This layout is still smaller than a full-size keyboard, so you still save space if you have a limited desktop. You also have your dedicated function keys, so you don't have to worry about extra keystrokes and key combinations to execute the same action. But to be honest, I personally don't use them that often. Now, some drawbacks to this keyboard are, are of course, going to be the lack of RGB. You only have the one orange color for all of the lighting effects. You may be coming from an all white or an all black keyboard, but even with the included keycaps, the color scheme still leaves a little bit to be desired. Now don't get me wrong, I still think there's exceptional value here, but I just want to give you all other points to consider. Personally, I don't like the color scheme, and I definitely wouldn't get it based off the RGB, and I haven't modded any keyboards beyond switching the keycaps, so I can't really speak to the sound, but I think these reds switches feel and sound okay. So if this keyboard is up your alley, there is a link in the description below. And while you're there, if you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing. If you're looking for something smaller, try checking out these keyboards. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.